Imagine two AI entities engaging in complex interactions, learning from each other, and pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence. Well, that's precisely what OpenAI has achieved with its latest development. In today's video, we'll be discussing the two types of AI that are being developed by OpenAI and what they entail. First up, we've got a skilled agent. This helper can take the hold of your device and handle tasks like moving data between documents and sorting out those expense reports, you name it. It's like having your assistant clicking away and filling out forms without you even lifting a finger. Then there's the web-centric agent. This one's all about navigating the online world. Need some public data collected? Done. Planning a trip and need an itinerary? Very easy. Want to book a flight? Consider it sorted. It's like having a travel-skilled friend who's always online and ready to help you out. So why all the hype about this new AI development? Well, it's because AI agents have the potential to revolutionize the way we handle complex tasks. We're talking about stuff that's messy and doesn't follow a set script. Things that require a real understanding of human behavior and intentions. But while these super smart agents can do some interesting stuff, there are also some serious concerns coming up, like privacy, safety, and security. It's all well and good to have AI agents doing their thing, but we have to make sure they're not overstepping any boundaries or making critical mistakes along the way. AI agents are like little brain beings designed to understand what's going on around them and do stuff to achieve certain goals. They can come in two ways, either software-based or actual physical entities. Now the fun part of these agents uses fancy AI tricks to make sense of their surroundings. They've got sensors to gather information and smart algorithms to process it all, and then they spring into action using actuators or other tools. You can relate it to them living in their own world, making decisions and getting things done, all thanks to advanced technology. So AI agents get their intelligence from deep machine learning algorithms. It looks like they're constantly in school, learning and getting better at their job with each interaction. Take a chatbot, for instance. If someone asks it a question it doesn't know the answer to, the program takes note and learns from the interaction. And the next time someone asks, it's ready with a better response. It's all about getting smarter over time and giving users the best experience possible. Moving on last year, there was news going around about OpenAI's plans to transform ChatGPT into a super smart personal assistant for the workplace. Well, it looks like those plans are still on track, according to a recent report from The Information. Word on the street is that this advanced AI assistant is going to be next level. It'll know all about individual employees and their jobs, handling tasks like writing emails and reports just like the employee would. And that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Now, we're not sure yet if this AI assistant will be its standalone product or part of a bigger AI software package from the company. But either way, it's shaping up to be a change in the world of personalized, universal AI assistants. OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, is all about pushing the boundaries. He's talking about automatic learning to fine-tune the model and make it even better. So the future is looking bright for AI assistants, with more upgrades and capabilities on the horizon. So here's what's cooking now. Sam Altman, the big brain at OpenAI, is on a mission to rake in $5, $7 trillion by teaming up with investors from the UAE and beyond. They plan to revolutionize semiconductors, tackle AI chip shortages, and push forward with AGI. Artificial general intelligence, that is. Now, while OpenAI hasn't revealed everything about this fancy advanced AI assistant just yet, they've been steadily plugging away at improving their models. Earlier this year, they dropped a sweet new feature for ChatGPT called GPT Mentions. It's like a virtual shout-out that lets users bring custom GPTs or bots into their chats. Kind of like what you do on Slack. And, but that's not all. At OpenAI's first ever developer conference, they took things up a notch with custom GPTs. This lets users create their bots and maybe even make a lot by selling them in the GPT store. It is more like a marketplace for all things GPT, where you can discover and use custom bots built up by the community. Let's talk about the main thing in the room. Security. Yes, it's a big deal when it comes to this bot. Now imagine giving a corporate AI system the keys to access all that private information. It's a bit scary. We're talking about potential cyber threats. Sure, OpenAI probably won't go rough and start misusing data, but what about outside hackers? They could come in and cause some serious damage with a data breach, but it gets better. While this new agent might hold some risky data, it could also be the guard protecting us from future cyber threats, like an upgrade to the security systems we've had in place before. According to Fabrice Deblock over at Cyber News, AI is shaking up the world of industrial cybersecurity in a big way. So even though we don't have all the juicy details about OpenAI's system just yet, many experts see these action agents as the next big thing in AI evolution. Sure, there are some safety concerns, but sometimes you've got to take a leap of faith to move forward. Security isn't the only challenge to this AI development. There are others too. 
Now you have this AI agent meant to help you with your finances. Well, the thing is, how good it is at its job depends on the tools it's got in its toolkit. Let's say it needs a certain tool to search some numbers or analyze your spending habits. If that tool isn't available when it needs it, it hits a dead end and you're left scratching your head. So, yeah, having the right tools on hand is pretty crucial for these AI agents to work their magic. To tackle these risks, we can implement a range of measures. OpenAI's safety initiatives center around crafting AI systems that reduce unintended side effects. Having humans in ensures that autonomous AI agents stay in line with human values and ethical guidelines. Now let's talk about something crucial like starting open conversation and teamwork among AI developers, policymakers, and all the other folks involved. This collaboration is key to setting up guidelines and rules for making sure AI development and use are responsible and ethical. But in times like these, it's more important than ever to stay on top of the challenges, as technology keeps on evolving and changing the game. It's all about staying ahead of the path and making sure we're ready for whatever comes our way. You know, there are a lot of places where we could be using artificial intelligence to spice things up and make them better than ever before. But not enough people really know about AI and what it can do. Sure, you have your tech gurus, college students, and researchers who are all over it. But outside of that crew, the knowledge about AI is pretty limited. Take small and medium-sized businesses, for example. They could totally benefit from AI to schedule tasks, boost production, manage resources, and even sell their products online. But a lot of them aren't even aware of the tools out there, like Google Cloud or Amazon Web Services, that could help them out big time. Another big challenge in the world of AI is a real worry that keeps researchers up at night, especially in companies and startups going into AI services. These companies might boast about their AI hitting over 90% accuracy, but guess what? Humans can still outperform them every time. Take a simple task like figuring out if an image is of a dog or a cat, Humans get it nearly every time, with an impressive accuracy of over 99%. Now, for an AI model to match that kind of performance, it's no walk in the park. We're talking loads of fine-tuning, working on those hyperparameters, feeding it a massive data set, and making sure the algorithm is spot on. Plus, you need some serious computing power and a ton of training and testing. But if you're not up for all that stress, there's another option. Outsourcing to a service provider. They've got these deep learning models that are pre-trained on millions of images, and fine-tuned to squeeze out every bit of accuracy. But the problem now is even with all that, they still can't quite match up to human-level performance. A tough nut to crack. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to our channel if you found this content valuable. We'll see you in the next one.